My name is uh, Rotia Jai. You're very welcome, Ma. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dayo, for giving me this platform to talk about what I do. We are talking about wellness and infertility, but let me just say what infertility is briefly. It is the inability of the couple to achieve pregnancy after one year of regular and unprotected sex. And when I say regular, I mean regular. Regular is two to three days in a week. Regular is not once a month. Regular is not once a week. It is minimum of two days and like three days in a week. When infertility is mentioned, people automatically start thinking of the woman. We look at infertility from the point of the woman. She's unable to have a child. She's barren. She's infertile. Everybody looks at the woman. Nobody focuses on the man. But I want you to know that infertility can be as a result of male factor, which it's about 30%. Female factor also is about 30%. Sometimes, like I said, people are depressed. So even when she's taking actions, even when she's envious from that world, don't forget that it has affected her emotions. And that's the way she's able to process it. That's the way she's able to react. That does not make her a bad person. But she's reacting because of the situation. And sometimes, because of because of inability to have a child and it's been going on and on for years, she goes into to, to hide. She's not willing to associate with people any longer. And if care is not taken, she becomes really depressed and gets sick and she will become dire patient. Some people stay in church. They keep praying and they will pray their tubes to grow. Tubes are blocked. Tubes are blocked and you are praying. Please. Your tubes cannot grow. Your tubes are blocked. You need IVF. That's the truth. That's the reality. So when you go to church and you spend all your years in church, drinking water, praying, I'm not saying you should not pray. Yeah, people can pray. We pray. I pray. I'm a Christian. But you know, when you have appendicitis and the doctor says you need to get your appendix removed, you don't go to church. When you have ulcer, you don't go to church. You go to the hospital. It's the same thing with infertility. As a couple, you must be together, you must think together, you must work through your challenges together. Don't leave one person behind. Don't be the, the macho one. Do it together. Talk as a couple. Seek help. And do not waste time in seeking help. And like I mentioned, if you know you are not ready to get married, or because of your career, or because the man is not there and you desire to have children, please consider freezing your eggs as early as possible. I'm really delighted <laughs> that you came here, Ma. Thank you so much.